Well, here's a little irrigation hack, or I should say just PVC pipe hack. Anybody's working with PVC, and uh, if you got a piece broken off like that, it's flush, see that's flush down there, so uh, I don't have room to fit another coupler on there. So what I'm gonna do is cut that off flush. And as you can see, this has been kind of pieced together because at the time I was doing this, I didn't have a two inch uh, T. So I just used some reducers and had, had to use this bigger piece here. I think that's two and a half. Uh, maybe that's two inch and this is, yeah, that's two inch and this is probably inch and a half. So anyway, I used a couple of reducers and, and that's just because that's what I had and I didn't want to spend an hour going to town and getting other pieces. So when you get that cut off like that, uh, we'll take a little hacking saw and we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna have to, I might get in your way a little bit because I gotta hold that steady. I'm gonna go ahead and split that pipe, that little piece that's left in there, at least split it. Maybe not all the way through, but uh, most of the way. Now, this was taught to me by a gentleman by the name of Grady Oval, who back in the 60s, late 60s, uh, pioneered the Granny Smith in this country. He brought it in from New Zealand and propagated it and uh, promoted it. And it became a very popular apple, still is here in the US. Uh, Grady taught me this in the early 70s when I worked for Oval Fruit Company. My job was to take care of uh, 125 acres of irrigation and maintain the pumps and all that, and make any repairs necessary to irrigate 125 acres of apples and nectarines. I think there was maybe some cherries involved. Anyway, um, uh, what I'm gonna show you now is not so critical right here, but if this were turned up and you were working on a, on a, a riser that's coming out of that, then uh, you would not want your little little pieces sometimes when you tip this out little pieces can fall down in there and then that plugs up your sprinklers and you don't want that so what you do is take a little piece of wire with a cloth on the end of it and uh, you, know, you put that in there I may have too much cloth on this more than I need apparently <laughs> but uh, I just threw this together real quick just to, just to show you guys this little hack Anyway, what this does is, uh, back in there, there we go. Now, when I pull that out, that will bring out all the little chips and broken pieces. Sometimes it comes out in one piece, and oftentimes it don't. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda chip that out of there. I think I'm gonna get lucky on this one. This is gonna maybe come out in one piece. It appears, possibly. So, yeah, we got lucky on that one. That one's gonna come out. So the rag is really not, not that necessary. But uh, like I said, if you're working on a, an upright piece, uh, and then this, most of the time, this will break up in little pieces if the glue's still really solid. And then it falls down in your pipe, and, and that's not good. So, now, we've got that out. We, uh, and there's no, uh, no little pieces in there. So now we are ready to make the repair. And on small pieces, you don't need primer. Just the uh, glue itself will work. And uh, I, always get the, I always get the hot stuff, the hot glue, because it'll dry quickly and you can turn the water on uh, very soon after you make the repair. With the other type of glue, you have to wait for uh, quite some time for it to set up real well. And on larger pieces, anything all oh, more than a, about an inch, and I use the primer as well. And that chemical reaction uh, between those two products will really bond that PVC. But uh, on the smaller stuff, it's not necessary. And uh, we'll go ahead and get our little uh, little coupler on there. Always buy the little cans. Don't buy the big ones because they'll dry out before you can ever use it up.